Hey, everybody. How are you going to get what you want if you don't ask for what you want in as many ways as you can ask for what you want? Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things um, that you, you're really going to have to understand. If you're not asking over and over again because the world is in such a way that if you're not, you're not going to get much of shit. You need to ask in different ways, ask different people, and you need to put yourself out there. Um, all of us have different skills, different skill sets. And some of us, I mean, even if we have similar skills to someone else, we can bring to that skill our personality, our uniqueness, our weirdness. And you need to capture that. And if you really want a life that you love, you have to quit trying to fit in, period. Just fuck fitting in. Because um, chances are you're, you're trying to fit in with the wrong groups. And the people that would really love you and enjoy you, you don't even know about. You don't even know they're there. And they, they don't know that you're there. As long as you're trying to fit in with everybody else, you're not going to find those people that are like you. We have to become completely responsible at this point for what we have, for where we're at, and for who we are if we want to get better. Right now, I mean, I'm not perfect. I am not fucking perfect. I'm not a fucking saint. I don't try to be. My videos are not fucking perfect. But I made myself responsible to make these videos every fucking day. And if I don't make them every day, then I double up. Um, you have to get radical in your responsibility because actually the more responsible you become, the easier it gets. And it gets to be easier. Uh, people stop fucking with you because as you become more responsible, you tell them, hey, step up and become more responsible. And then if they're in their victimhood, if they're being victims... Uh, they will just fucking clear out. They'll, they'll leave you the fuck alone. Um, because those people are just fearful or angry or belligerent. And they, they'll only die with more resentment. A lot of us have resentments. But how many resentments do you just want to die miserably? I don't. I don't. And you shouldn't either. And once you do understand that... Um, People hurt people, and after a while, when you start living more mindfully, you'll stop hurting people, or you'll stop being around people that you would hurt or that would hurt you. So, healing or healed people heal people, and hurt people hurt people. We've all been there. We've all hurt people. You can't get out of life without it. Whenever we stop playing the victim, then... We learn to, to forgive we, and let loose some of that area in our head to become more creative and have more of what we actually want instead of just stewing and, and holding on to shit that will just make us miserable day in and day out. In today's society, we all live for sh um, short-term gratification. You know, it's it's... 
It's like, we want it now. And it, it, it's a common problem in America and I guess in the Western world. Fuck, I don't know. I'm, I've never been to Britain or Australia, but here in America, uh, you have this uh, fast food mentality. I want it now. Uh, you have to let that go. You have to really slow down and look around, Samurai, and really slow down and start thinking about long term. The long term gratification. Uh, because when you really start taking responsibility and you start diving in deep into the long term and you're not giving up, you, you'll stop delving in a bunch of petty ass shit, a lot of gossipy shit. And you'll be doing something that 97% of the population just doesn't do. Just doesn't do. And they're going to hate you for it. Um, you're doing something that 97% of the people won't do. They won't do. They just want to make excuses as to why their life is the way it is. And, and uh, see how far it gets you. It didn't get me anywhere. So expect to be hated. And you have to really, really start letting go of people's praise or blame. The, the people that love you or hate you, you just sort of have to let that go. Um, receive the praise. I mean, shit. If We all love praise. Don't get me fucking wrong. I mean, it feels good, doesn't it? At the same time, I mean, it feels good to help people. At the same time, you might have to come to understand that there will be a time when the praise just may end. It just... It just won't come in. And so you have to let that go or you'll become very empty or depressed. Same way with uh, the hateful ass comments, the trolls. I mean, hell, I've had trolls on this fucking channel. Uh, they've got nothing better to do. They've got nothing going on in their life. And they're just sad little fucks, you know. So I have to let it go. When you're building your life and your lifestyle and the life that you want, Learn to love your fuck-ups, your failures, your mistakes. Because they don't mean anything except for, except for they are feedback. You will take them as feedback, not as failure. Learn to delve into failures. Learn to make more mistakes. That's what my book is about, uh, The Miracle of Making More Mistakes on Amazon.com. It talks about the types of mistakes that you really want to make. Um, start taking risks. Not bullshit risks. Not speeding your car up around curves and shit like that. Um, but those risks of things that you are actually afraid to do but are healthy for you. That wouldn't hurt anybody. Start going out there. Start doing it. Start living in the 3D. Start living out here in the real fucking world. But I'll end this the same way that I began it. The world doesn't owe us a fucking thing. I'm happy to be alive. We're not going to be alive forever. We're going to die. We're all going to die. So, what is it that you want to be remembered for? What is it that makes you happy now? That, that really doesn't hurt anybody. But what is it out of those things that really make you happy right now? What do you enjoy? Start a business around that. Start a lifestyle around that. And grow. So, like I said, the world doesn't owe us anything. Uh, funny thing is, when we take more responsibility and we um, don't feel entitled, we begin to get more of what we want. Just by proxy, just by doing and being what we're supposed to be. Alright. So, I hope this has helped you out some. If it has, hit the like and subscribe button. How do you feel about the world owing you something or victimhood or because there's a huge movement in responsibility and personal responsibility and just getting it done and um, how do you feel about that? Put it in the comments below. Man, my hair is fucking fried. I might just shave it. I might just shave it. Mm, who the fuck knows? Comment on that. Should I shave my fucking head? Maybe, maybe not. All right. Until next time, my ninjas.